In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to introduce dynamic addition using two digits. And we're only going to be using hands-on materials. So to introduce the concept, there's no recording or no writing down at this point. And that helps the children to just focus in on the concept without having to worry about writing or recording. Um, so I have here base 10 blocks and some small number cards. Um, we are only going to be using ones and tens. Um, and um, you can easily differentiate this um, by, of course, uh, going up to 100s or 1000s. And this is a small group activity. Um, the prerequisite is that the children should have um, a good understanding of place value and base 10 from working with this material as well as um, the number cards previously. They also should have experience with um, static addition, where they're adding with no regrouping, and also with the exchange game or the exchange exercises. Okay, so first we're going to start by having a child build one of the first add end, 35. So they'll grab three tens and five units. And then another child is going to make that with the number cards. So three tens, five units. They'll put them together just as with static addition. And then another child can build the second add end, and this is going to be 27. So two tens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones or units. Okay. And then, of course, another child can build the number with the cards and put them together. So remember adding is putting together so you'll have a child put together the quantity and put together our two add-ins with the cards. Okay so now that we've added or put together let's see how much we have and we start with the with the units one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh no. So remember when we played the exchange game, what happened every time we got to 10? Yes, that's right. We had to stop and exchange for a group of 110. And I like to, when I'm working with the children, I like to call this the bank. So I tell them, okay, go to the bank. So we're going to separate 10 of our ones or units. So here we have five and 10. And I like to have them put them in their hand or a container so that they can see they're separate. They go back in here and you can have a child actually play the banker where they are get, then giving that one um, 10. Now, um, I also, I'll move this so that you can see, I also like to have them take that um, quantity that they exchanged and put it up above. For several reasons so that they can see that that's the exchange but also because when they do start to record this on paper um, and they carry that one they'll see where that comes from that comes from actually making that exchange okay so the next step is let's see how much um, we have with the number cards so we have two ones left over and let's put our tens together. We have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. Oops, let's do that with the large one. Okay, and then we can put that together. So 35 plus 27 equals 62. And I like to use um, the larger number cards at first to show the sum um, so that they can visually see that that's um, different. All right, that's the lesson.